with Bob. Uh, go on, your thoughts. Well, uh, Judith has told an amusing revisionist history of uh, the science of climate change. Um, the fact that we are on a lower uh, temperature path is down to the fact that many countries are now cutting their emissions. And so we are seeing that the movement is towards uh, lower emissions in many countries, including the UK. UK has reduced its emissions greatly. Uh, since 1990. We need the emerging market in developing countries, countries like China, to reduce their emissions now. So that's a good, good thing. But we're nowhere near on a safe path. And Judy, Judy is uh, incredibly, talking from the United States at the moment, there's a big hurricane out in the Gulf of Mexico, which they're expecting to um, develop and intensify rapidly before it hits land in Florida. That intensification is linked to the fact that the sea surface temperatures in the Gulf of Mexico now are very high, and they're very high because the Earth is warming. And Judy is saying, oh, well, it's got nothing to do with uh, extreme I'm weather. Sorry. It's completely I'm wrong. Sorry. Go on, I am a real, genuine expert on the issue of hurricanes. I forecast them in my company. I'm an expert on the climate dynamics of hurricanes. There is nothing unusual going on with the hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico well, right I'm now. I'm afraid that Judy, every disagree single year. Judy disagrees with the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. She's an expert. No, Rosanna no, was once a scientific expert. No, there you have one. She disagrees with no. the American... The American no. scientific establishment. She's out on her own on this. No. She's not on no, her own. There are hundreds and hundreds, hundreds who agree with I, it's it's absolutely not true. agree with the statements made by the NOAA GFDL statement on hurricanes and climate change. Okay, it's completely. You're saying consistent. that there's no link between rapid intensification and climate change? No, there is not. Well, I I'm afraid you're out on your own again, Judy. Well, but, 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 but this is really yeah. important. This is the or point. Wrong. Scientists dif yeah. disagree with each other. Yeah, which allows a vacuum for people to. No, it in allows their data. debate and discussion and yeah, challenge. Yeah, which is what we're doing. doing. No, the scientists the always the have world to have a consensus. The no. Organization Go on, Judy. And the IPCC did not find any evidence of an increase in intensity in the observational record or an increase in rapid intensification. Judy, Judy have, you published your, have you published your a paper explaining that there is no link between the in, rapid intensification of hurricanes and climate change? Uh, I am citing right now, I do fundamental research on this. I am citing the IPCC and the World Meteorological Organization assessments. You are off base No, I'm here. not. I'm not. I'm citing exactly what the literature says, Judy. And okay. as you know, you've not published anything that has shown oh, yes, that I there can. is no link between intensification and climate change. There, this has been a... A brilliant example of why this debate is not going away, why it's such a heated issue, even over these new LEDs cameras here in London, because, you know, as Richard, yes, you point out, there is not consensus on this issue. That's why we're having this debate. That's why I'm open to hearing all sides. But that's why we must Go always on. have these debates. Of and we, we must not be smeared and labelled. But you have to tell the right? truth, Richard. You yeah, have and to you tell absolutely the truth. Do. You haven't and, told and, the truth. And you haven't told me the truth. You haven't told the you truth. You haven't admitted that you London's air quality is the best I'm it's ever been. To, I Answer have me to, a simple but question. It's still dangerous and it's still above WHO. Answer me a simple question. If you pay £12.50, Right to drive your car in the new uh, ULES extended zone. Right? How is that going to help change the the, the uh, Don't pollution? you agree? It's the not going to change it at all. Pay. The because... pays. That's the principle. So, so you don't care about the poor. You're so I... selfish. You're so yeah. rich. You don't care about the poor. Oh, the rich. The oh, come on, Richard. Richard. Really? Really? Don't come you on. richer than me? Come Richard. on. Richard. Richard. Give me a break. I work you, at a university. You don't care about the You'll poorest in London. Murdoch. You should be ashamed of yourself. You're a Richard. disgrace. Richard. You don't care ridiculous. about the poor. You can't tell the truth and you lose the argument. Poor people, poor people can't afford a 20 or 30 grand car. There's £2, there's £2, scrappage scrappage scheme scheme there's £2 a scrappage scheme of £2,000, which scheme. makes no difference That's whatsoever. Right. Scrappage scheme should be more generous and it should be the government coming in and helping... There's no such thing as government London. money. It's all our money. It's taxpayers' oh, money. London's air quality, and particularly in the is the think, best it's I think, ever been. I think wealthy people shouting that, you know, other people don't care about the poor. He when we think about he fossil fuels as well... He doesn't care about the £12.50. Those who can't afford it, Rosanna. Richard, That's what he's just admitted. Look, Absolutely we have to wrap ridiculous. up there. We have a lot more coming on the show. Gentlemen and Judith uh, down the line with us as well. This has been fascinating. Knew it was going to be spicy. Thanks so much.